somebody ran away. So they said I wasn't the first of the year, but I started October 2000. And um, I think it was about part was kind of easy, but it wasn't because I was the first woman chaplain that they had to come into the mission. And I had these men <laughs> who said they weren't working with a woman. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
guys will not lay in the bed with me. Because I would come into your, I would let you know what I'm saying. That a woman back there, I wouldn't hit you, but I would hit that side of that bed by the end you would come out. <laughs> Appreciate what God has, has given you right now. And ask God to work with you, as he said, that you learn to self-discipline and take advantage of what God has given you. It might not be here always. So ask God to help you to take advantage of it. We're leaving, but we're not feeling bad. As Brother Lamer said, God got something for us to do. And just like he said this year, we had something to do. I asked God to open my eyes so I could see, but you know, sometimes feeling a little down for the fact that you all your friends. I've been here 13 years. But I'm praising God. Yeah. I'm praising God for have had a good time. And that you even thought about giving me a retirement <laughs> the books. That's right. Uh -huh. Whether you like it or whether you don't. Yeah. What you do is what's going to face you in those books. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can get your life together. Do what's right. Don't worry about everybody else around you. That's what right. they're doing. That's right. Come on, dude. Worry about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. God keeps the books. <laughs> What, you, what he puts in those books, he's the one that sees you. Amen. The rest of these guys can see you, but they'll take up for you whether you're <laughs> right or wrong. But the book's going to be balanced out one day. Amen. What you want in it? I always said God was an accountant first. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold on to things too tightly. I've told you that many a time. Yes. Amen. Hold on to it loosely. When God says it's time to go, if you hold it on too tight, you will regret it. You hold on to it loosely, there's a blessing there. Better than what you got. Now, I'm going on 80 years old. Many of some of y'all know it, some of you don't. I still feel like I'm 20. <laughs> I carry my books out of here. Reverend Gregory says, let's get a cart. I says, I can carry it. No, I can carry it for you, but get a cart. That's wisdom. I don't mind being like Caleb, asking God for a mountain. There's always going to be many mountains in your life. How do you want to climb this? You climb it with him or you climb it by yourself? By yourself, you may not make it. But if you climb it with him, you'll make it. Today I had a man come in here I didn't even recognize. We used to work together. He made me know who he was. And he was telling, yeah. telling Gene yeah. about some of the things I did. Yeah. Wonderful. Everything. That's the kind of reputation you want to carry yeah. with you. You can stand on that. You can know it and stand on it regardless of what comes. When you stand on it, then you're able to tell the truth. Because that is the truth. And people will know that you will give the truth. So let that be your hallmark. <coughs> the next thing, you fellas in the program, there is a lot you can do in helping these overnighters. They need direction. They may talk to you rough, 
They may say a lot of things to you, but maybe they might be testing to see what, right. what you made out of Amen. And if they find out you made out of the wrong thing, then naturally they're going to they're gonna say, well, why should I change? You're making it harder for the Holy Spirit to change them. So watch how you talk to them. Watch what you say to them. Study the scripture. Give them scripture. They can't refute that. They have to accept it because they know where it's coming from. This is how you win them over. And this is how you keep the records that God's keeping straight. One of the things, one of the things in the book of Job, and I love that part, when God said, Hast thou not considered my servant Job, or oh, there is none like him? How do you want him to say about you? He can say the same thing about you, or he can say something else about you. You ought to want the best because he sees you when everybody else don't see you. 